part two faith and in, a, in account without faith a man can do nothing with it all things are possible so william osler most of us in our passage so life whether we are religious or not experience what we try to call a yearning for a mental security of a spiritual home we need the inner resources that give hope strength and peace Also, we need a spiritual philosophy to help us meet the problems of life, to see us through the dark hours that inevitably come to us all. Man must be asked and buttressed from within. As the temple weavers to the dust wrote Marcus Aurelius 1800 years ago, with faith, a man is never alone, never forsaken. In illness, trouble, danger, despair, he is not alone. faith gives him help and guidance faith gives him comfort and peace every sort of energy and endurance of courage and capacity for handling life evils is set free in those who give religious faith said william james here you will find beautiful and inspiring expression of faith words of comfort guidance and help from men and women whose lives were invested with deep spiritual values richard e beard I could feel no doubt of man's oneness with the universe. It was a feeling that transcended reason that went to the heart of a man despair and found it groundless. All over the world people were talking, laughing, dining together, sharing experience but there on the vast listening immensity of frost barrier there was only one man, one man alone, alone with the wind and snow and cold. with the silence and emptiness richard e beard stood for a moment watching the great waves of snow wheeling and rolling across the barrier vanishing into the sky it was so cold he could hear his breath crystallize in the air he had mean to return almost at once to comparative warmth and comfort of his shack buried in ice cap but something kept him standing there listening watching It was the Antarctic winter of 1934. He had come to his bleak icy self between Little America and the South Pole to obtain scientific data to observe and report on polar meteorology. But he had also wanted to be by himself for a while, to be physically and spiritually on his own. He wanted to think things out in quiet and solitude, to sink roots into some replenishing philosophy he felt the need and desire to believe he stood that afternoon looking out over the barrier feeling its beauty and its power he listened to the stillness filling that vast brooding space with mystery he thought for a moderately swing of the planets in their orbit the everlasting movement of constellation across the sky the steady rhythmic change of the sea out of silence a gentle rhythm the strain of perfect chord the music of spheres perhaps it was enough to catch the rhythm momentarily to be myself a part of it in that constant i could feel no doubt of man's oneness with the universe the conviction came that the rhythm was too orderly too harmonious to perfect to be a product of blind chance that therefore there must be purpose in the whole and that man was part of the whole not an accidental offshoot it was a feeling that transcended reason that went to the heart of a man's despair and found it groundless the universe was a cosmos not a chaos man was as rightfully a part of that cosmos as were the day and night the inspiring paragraph above are from alone the record of admiral beard five lonely month in the antarctic obtaining scientific data it is a record also of his own personal mission his quest for a deep and abiding faith here completely cut off from all human contact far from the accustomed world and its security living in a shack that was less than a pin prick on the vast expanse of the barrier here in the bleakness 
the loneliness and the cold admiral beard learned that the man is not alone here he came to the peaceful conclusion that man is part of the whole that is part of the universe and its eternal harmony for those who seek it there is in exhaustible evidence of an all pervading intelligence that is what admiral beard discovered in antarctic winter of 1934 along with his discoveries about polar meteorology that is heartening feat he brought back along with his scientific data and record and that is his inspiring message to all who feel the need and desire to believe man is not alone the heavens declares the glory of god and the ferment showeth his handiwork the beauty of the world and the orderly arrangement of everything celestial make us confess that there is an excellent and eternal nature which ought to be worshiped and admired by all mankind when i would beg it content and increase confidence in the power and wisdom and providence of almighty god i will walk the meadows by some gliding stream and there contemplate the lilies that take no care and those very many other little living creatures that are not only created but fed by the goodness of god of nature and therefore trust in him i cannot conceive how a man could look up into the heavens and say there is no god abraham lincoln if the stars should appear one night in a thousand years how men we would believe and adore and it preserve for many generation the remembrance of the city of god which had been shown but every night come out these envoys of beauty and light of the universe with their admonishing smile in the woods we return to a reason and faith standing on the bare ground my head bathed by the bleak air and uplifted into infinity space all men egotism vanishes the current of the universal being circulates through me the years at the spring and the day at the morn morning at the seven the hillside dew pearled the lark on the swing the snail on the thorn god in his heaven all night with the word robert browning it takes solitude under the stars for us to remind it of our eternal origin and our far destiny hanedy frankis lighty a tomb still if you abide with me slowly the reverend 